Hello Year 9 and welcome to the Year 9 Options Evening Presentation. My name is Miss Casey and I'm Head of MFL at Barnwell and I'm going to be giving you some information about the GCC French course. At Barnwell we follow the AQA GCC. You will be assessed in four different skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing, each being worth 25%. You can be entered at foundation tier, which covers grades one to five, or higher tier, which covers grades four to nine. There are three main themes. These cover identity and culture, which could be talking about yourself, your family, your relationships, and different festivals and traditions. Theme two covers local, national, international and global areas of interest, which could be um, talking about tourism, holidays, town, buying tickets, booking hotels and so on. And theme three covers current and future study and employment. This covers school, post-16 study and future jobs and aspirations. I'm now going to talk you through the four different types of exam you'll be sitting at the end of the two year course. The first of which is listening. It's 35 minutes at foundation and 45 minutes at higher. You'll be listening to a range of passages in French and responding in section A in English or by multiple choice or true and false type questions. In section B, again, you'll be listening in French, but this time you will be answering some questions in French as well as multiple choice. The speaking exam lasts between seven and nine minutes at foundation and 10 to 12 minutes at higher. You will also have some preparation time to prepare the materials. You'll be expected to participate in a role play, describe a photo and participate in some general conversation with your teacher. The exam is conducted on a one-to-one -one with your teacher. The reading exam is 45 minutes at foundation and an hour at higher. It's a very similar setup to the listening exam, except this time you'll be reading written passages and they will all obviously all be in French. Um, in section A, you'll be reading in French, answering questions in English and choosing multiple co choice questions or nonverbal questions. Section B, the questions are in French to be answered in French or again non-verbally, so multiple choice. There is also a section C, where you'll be doing a translation from French to English. And finally, the writing paper. At foundation level, you'll be expected to complete four different tasks. You'll be describing a photo in four sentences, writing a short passage of 40 words, translating five sentences from English to French, and writing an essay of 90 words. For higher, there are three questions. You'll be starting with the 90 word essay, then going on to answer a question of 150 words, and then doing a longer translation of 50 words from English to French. There are some immediate advantages to choosing a language in year 10 and 11. You have the advantage of having covered a third of the course content already in year nine, because you have been working on theme one. The exam format should be familiar to you. So some of the tasks I've described, you will already have done in year nine. We will then spend year 10 revising these, covering themes two and three, and year 11 will be spent on exam technique and consolidation. So that puts you ahead of the game already. The course is also aimed at increasing cultural knowledge. So therefore there's an added bonus of interest for you. There are also several long-term advantages in studying a language. It's a more unusual skill, therefore very desirable, requested by many UK employers. It makes you more competitive in the global job market alongside other English speakers. It demonstrates a type of person with an open mind and an inclusive approach. It very often commands a higher salary. And there are many university courses offering additional modules in a language if you were to study it further. In addition, in the study of your language, you'll be developing some key transferable skills, such as the following. Amongst these are present presenting skills, listening skills, and problem solving skills. 
All of these skills are clearly invaluable in the job market and can lead on to opportunities in the following fields. Thank you for listening. And should you have any further questions, please contact either myself, Miss Casey, or your languages teacher. Good luck with your option choices.